Hello, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Today is the first episode of Frame Emotions and Web Animation series, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make these marquee animations like this. And I know it's simple, and you can achieve it this by even HTML tag. But it's now when you're using Frame Emotions, it's uh, you have more control in it that you have you can do anything you want to the animations. So let's get started. First of all, um, I have simple, let me check, yeah, uh, I have simple web that uh, only have these um, hello world and I have installed Tailwind CSS and this is the regular React application. First of all, I'm going to install the frame emotions. Okay, just Google frame emotions. And you will notice there's no more frame emotions and it's renamed as a motion both libraries are same just name okay they just change the their name that's the only difference just in copy this and paste right here hit enter you will notice it get it's it it, it may took some time okay and yeah so frame emotions okay the storing part, part is done then let me yeah everything is so nice and first thing i'm going to change my branch you don't have to do this one if you integrate i i just uh do this for better control so you can copy paste the code from my git repository without any hesitate because every feature has every name called uh branch branch called their feature so you can get that one and first of all okay we install that one and we have to install i'm in the marquee component and when it comes to this one you can see it's rendered on our screen and first of all i'm gonna import import motion from from motion slash react you should uh, remember we have to in import each and every component from motion uh, slash react otherwise it get crashed okay it means you 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 have more ways to do this one but i'm saying this this is the more much more cleaner way cleaner way so okay mm, and oh my bad we have to import this in uh, our component i'm gonna here and go to index just paste right here okay seems okay and we have do with a class name okay i have do some um, basic styling here let's see relate you and with screen screen edge screen you know it get uh, fully screen uh, the width and height get uh, fully screen so you don't have to worry or flow hidden and instead of this i'm gonna give some exact height like 210 pixels later we can change that one or you can pass any props here to change that one. and i'm delete this one then i'm gonna start the motion dev whatever you animation by using motion uh the frame of motion you can start that uh, each uh, html element by motion something like motion.dev if you wanna uh, animate the ul element then motion.ul if you wanna animate h1 tag then motion.h1 something like that okay in here we have div so i'm gonna motion.div okay this is just a regular html div just just we referring this uh, this is animated one for the frame of motion that's the only difference okay and here I'm gonna give the class name absolute okay solid actually this part is uh, optional because I'm gonna recreate um, oh, where's my animation I'm gonna recreate this animation so uh, I have to work on uh, work with is a index to achieve this one since that since then i'm using absolute otherwise you can work on as it is okay so it, it's totally fine and 
I am going to white space no wrap because I don't want to wrap my text to uh, next things. Then after, mm, I'm going to add h1 tag. This is not an animated one. This is just an anim animation tag. And I am adding my text. My first video tutorial tutorial on motion subscribe me subscribe me it's very simple you can see and i'm going to style this one text 3 3x this will work uh, yeah but uh, it's better to become this a uh, very large text you know i'm going to give this as a 8 view width yeah something like that uh, when it comes to uh, view width then it's uh, uh, resize according to relative to our width that's why i'm giving, giving that one you can use rem set if you prefer that one it's fine it's totally fine mm, and uppercase yeah and also for this one uh, i'm gonna add some margin for this one because you know it has some nice things mm, okay and for the animation uh, currently it just does not have any animations and it's not working you know it's just uh, uh, there with some text so first of all i'm gonna give animate as sorry animate equal animate okay then i'm gonna create variants and for the variant i'm gonna create a name marquee variant it's already so you can see we don't have anything called marquee variant so i'm gonna const marquee variant marquee variant and this is an object okay this is object and we reference something let's get to that and in that we have animate in that object we have two properties first one is x axis the x we we can in here we can uh, tell them to when to where i mean the the start positions as well as the end position of the animation so i'm gonna give something like um I don't know this should work or not something like this we have to do experiment still animation is not working and for the x part no sorry um yeah and this is our animation and transition transition we have to object and for the direction we have to open another one yeah i mean i will keep this one and okay and um, yeah duration it means the animation duration you can see the animation it's working right now and the repeat type is loop otherwise it's get start uh, stop here you have to give the better uh, repeat type and you can see my text is not enough for these length so i am gonna reduce this length and let's see when this uh, end of the when this end of the text is coming the start part should come from here and it's not working right so mm, repeat infinitely we gonna remove this one okay and we have to play this uh, around these uh, values and make make our animations let's see 800 yeah it's very simple you know uh, yeah i think 800 would work you can see you can resize you can do whatever the things it's very simple and it's a, it's it's a very easy right okay this is our first tutorial i know it's short it's it's simple but to get start with frame of motion i think this is much more enough and we can go for uh most advanced one like uh, you can see when it comes to this transition one i like this one the transition part it's very cool and you can see this uh, uh rounded thing which follows the mouse we can recreate this one as well as when you go to studio 
you can see these great animations here those are simple but uh, let me check I, I i saw a lot when it comes to here um, in the next in the next tutorial i'm gonna recreate this one yeah you can see how cool is that okay see you next time guys and hope you enjoyed this video